promise I'm gonna redo my budget a lot of you caught mistakes which is great but the main reason why I'm redoing my budget is because I didn't consider that the upcoming paycheck is gonna be like really low which might not even cover any of my other bills so I'm estimating about an 800 to 900 dollar paycheck meaning just rent by itself will deplete it and then I would have all these other massive amounts of debts that I wouldn't be able to pay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scratch this entire budget <clears throat> if you haven't seen it I put the link on the card somewhere around here and we're gonna scratch this and we're just gonna go ahead and redo my budget <clears throat> I'm still under the weather so if you can hear my throat or like my voice coming in and out is just because I cannot kick off whatever is happening with me I'm drinking medicine but it's just it just doesn't want to go away so I'm gonna move my planner out of the way <clears throat> And if you're interested, this is a Kiki K planner. It's the wellness planner, actually. And that's what that is. So I'm going to go ahead and do my budget here. And I'm using my G2 Pilot Pen. So let me get started. <clears throat> I do have my Erin Condren up here on the side telling me what is it that I need to pay and everything. So I'm just having it here in case you guys are wondering why I'm going so fast. It's because of that. I already know what needs to get paid and all that stuff. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just start. So like always, let me zoom you guys in. i put January budget up here. how pretty is that okay so now let me do bills to pay now what I'm gonna do instead which I never done before and hopefully I can get it done is I'm gonna just put all of my credit card debt down that's all I'm gonna do I'm gonna put all my credit card debt and pay all of them and then see how uh, my four walls should be able to fit in but I don't think any of my miscellaneous will be able to fit in so let's just do that so <clears throat> with this I'm not going to include Toys R Us just because when I said in the previous video I did do a snowball debt of $100 so I'm only missing $262 from that uh, my medical bills have been paid off and I threw $100 at Toys R Us, so that's my numbers where I'm standing at. So I'm missing $262 for Toys R Us. So I'm going to go ahead and start with A Firm instead. A Firm. This one is on the 15th. I'm going to have to redo everything, you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, but this is the whole point of budgets, that you can go ahead and revisit them over and over again as much as you need to adjust um, your circumstances. Now, I can always make a video of how you can start a budget if you guys like. Um, and then I can also discuss, I still have one more video to discuss um, the baby steps and the avalanche so I can also do like a whole video of how I'm paying off my debt and sorry if my camera is shaking I am leaning against my desk so my desk is pushing my camera back and forth so sorry about that <clears throat> Victoria's Secret let me do this is on the 16th as well that's fifty dollars And I have Nordstrom. <clears throat> and if you guys are new and you're wondering what shutdown was, so basically I work for a pharmaceutical company and due to FDA regulations, we have to go through shutdown to clean up all the facilities, um, get uh, mainly all the facilities up to date, cleaned and sanitized and whatnot because we just deal with medicine. And these are non-negotiable um, 
shut down so the next one that we're having is in april so in april we do have a shutdown and it's coming up fairly soon <clears throat> so i have a sinking fund for it and um that's why in my miscellaneous categories if you see shutdown it's because i'm saving up for it just because i know i won't have um enough pto to cover me so hopefully that'll be enough because i estimate that i need half a paycheck because the first week should be paid in full but the second week i won't be able to cover so it's just like what happened today like my first week like this budget i'm paying off that first week of shutdown i was fully covered but the second week is like a no pay so i have like zero money to cover me so that's what i'm doing now <clears throat> And if you guys are wondering why I have two Bank of Americas, one, I have a shared credit card with my mom, but I usually just pay that, and I will continue paying that, and then this is my Bank of America card. So the next thing I have is Amazon. Now, if you guys are wondering what type of debt I have, I'll put a link somewhere around here, and you guys can check out my debt. I started off with $34,000 in debt closer to um closer to 35 but i paid off since then like 60 300 or 6200 dollars worth of it and then for my goal my goal this time around is to pay ten thousand dollars and i'm going to consider the stoma method to keep going or to um move to the avalanche but i haven't um, done that video yet and I'm still need to research this so let's hope I get it done pretty soon and then on Monday I start regular regular work so I've been volunteering to work t yesterday and the day before and I've, I've literally been hating it because I'm still sick and I can't kick it off and I guess my body is just like what are you doing to yourself but Monday is like back to full work no matter what so I have JC Penny so this is on the 23rd and this is $74 <clears throat> okay the only bill that I won't include here is my student loan just because that would be too much of a big hit for me to take on there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write total debt minimum due just like I did on my other video so <clears throat> let me add that up for you guys now I know you guys catch all my <laughs> all my additions back and forth <laughs> and I'm just like oh my bad you guys uh, I try to have everything done perfectly but Sometimes, you know, calculators. But don't worry, um, before I upload, like once I finish the video, I always recheck my calculations. So 41707. This is just for time's sake. 41707. <clears throat> now I highlight in red anything that's debt. So if you always wonder why I'm highlighting in pink, it's because I know that is debt. So give me one second. I'll be right back because my camera's heating heating up. So give me one second. Okay. So now I'm gonna move on to monthly necessities. Now what I say monthly necessities are is what Dave Ramsey calls your four walls. So basically, this is what you pay before anything else. You pay this before you pay any debt. Before you pay anything, you have to make sure that you have shelter, food clothes, transportation, and of course, some way to communicate with others. So for me, that is rent. And from now on, I will be pulling $500 each because last time I was just a mess. I don't know what I was doing, doing 50 and 50. This is so much easier, even numbers. My phone bill is $57. I have um, Spectrum, and then I have my $12 insurance. Otherwise, it'll be just 45 But iPhones, you know, my my screen just broke and I went and got it fixed at Apple and I only paid twenty nine dollars to get my um screen fixed because I have that insurance so that was I was really happy. This is for my gasoline. Gasoline is sixty dollars. 
So I use $30 and $30 every two weeks. And that works out just fine. And so sorry about the shaking. I can't help it, but I'll see if I can find a better situation. But I just have such a tiny apartment that, like, literally it doesn't fit anywhere else. So now I have laundry, which I'm going to go do today. And that is $10. And I haven't pulled out anything. I haven't touched my bank account, nothing. So this is, yeah, this is essentially what's going to go down. Groceries. Uh, sometimes I'm kind of doing like a pantry challenge on my own, like just to see how much I can cook at home, how much I can get rid of stuff in like the pantry and the refrigerator and the freezer. So I'm going to put it at $40, but... I might just have it in a cash envelope that just says emergency money, but not really. I mean, I still have gift cards to Target and um, other stores, so I'm pretty good on that. So thank God for the holidays because they're going to help me out. But I think I'm going to use those next week. So this is just going to be like a little buffer I might keep to myself in case like we do run out of food, which I doubt. I really doubt. <clears throat> Total need. So now I'm going to add up all my total needs. Now if you guys are wondering why my um, grocery budget is so low, it's because um, it's only me and my boyfriend. And usually my boyfriend, um, you know, when he gets paid, or he budgets out money for himself, but he eats out a lot. He doesn't eat at home. The only time he eats at home is um, at nighttime when I make dinner for the both of us. And I essentially don't eat breakfast. I only eat lunch. So whatever I make for lunch for work is what I eat. And then I come and make dinner. So I essentially skip a meal just because I wake up really late. Like right now it's like 11 in the morning. And I'm just waking up. And <clears throat> I'm making this video for you guys. So yeah. And then, and then like when you're essentially like at my job you're programmed to like make your stomach be hungry at certain times so that's what's going on so 500 plus 57 plus 60 plus 10 plus 40 so 667 that will never change that is just my need for two weeks <clears throat> I know a lot of people think this is like my need for like the entire month no it's not this is just my need for these two weeks 500 i pay a thousand dollars in rent and then my boyfriend takes care of the rest and i know a lot of people ask me about like what other bills i pay i pay the gas bill just because it's essentially nine dollars but my boyfriend handles electricity wi-fi um he does um groceries on his week sometimes that's why it's also very low but he usually just takes me out to eat and then he'll handle any like nonsense that comes up so that's what essentially he takes up so anything that you don't see here he takes care of just because those bills are a lot higher like the internet is ridiculous high because <clears throat> he's like a gamer so he needs to have like the best quality internet so there's no way i would ever pay for that like i'm not gonna pay like 80 to 100 dollars worth of internet just because i want something too low like within a second like it's not about me and like um electricity that man keeps the lights on computers on everything on always charging so he handles that nonsense i will never look at the bill in my life i mean i keep track of it that gets paid because it goes to my email but other than that he handles all of that so essentially all his bills add up to what i'm paying almost but yeah all right so my total need for that was 60 $667 so this is going to be in green because I know that is essentially going to come out first no matter what so now let me move on to my um, miscellaneous now the only category that I am going to add here is shut down just because this is a priority I don't want this situation that I'm in to happen again I want to make sure I'm covered so I'm going to do 40 my $48 that I always contribute to my sinking fund for shutdown, so that's gonna stay there. Now, I want to do um, tithing. I won't do none of my sinking funds because I just know this by itself is like $1,100 and I got paid like 12 so whatever I might have left, I'm gonna do tithing or offering just because I really just do want to do um, keep giving. But I'm not going to put this until I have my um, paycheck down. So let's go ahead and move on over here. And let me do my paycheck. Now 
Now you guys saw that my paycheck was twelve hundred and two with eighty two cents. But just if you're a new viewer, I'm gonna show you. I always show real numbers in my channel. I am not scared to show my real numbers. I'm not ashamed of my number, but this is how much I made for the week of shutdown. $1,202.82. This is with 40 hours of regular work time, PTO, holiday, and some overtime. So yeah. So let me write that in. So this is $1,202 with 82 cents. Now that one is going to go in blue. Just because this is what I know is in the clear as of right now. That is my money that I have. So let me go ahead and start subtracting. So the first thing, like I said, I'm going to subtract. Let me zoom you guys in a bit more. Good. Hopefully. Is my monthly. So, 1202, 82, minus 667, 53582. Well, that was an ugly writing. <laughs> now, minus my debt. Which is now a much bigger number. Minus 417.07. I'm at 118. <clears throat> 118.75. So, let me see how much I can. So, minus 48, which is my, my sinking fund. Minus 48. I'm left with $70 and I can do, I'm not going to have a, a snowball this month round just because I do want to do tithing. So I'm going to do $50 of tithing. And you know what, um, and then I'll do, I'll do spending. Well, no, I won't do spending because I will use my grocery uh, money as spending as I go and then I will do my snowball of $20. So let's do that. So let's do total miscellaneous. Let's calculate this. So let me see. So my total 48 plus 50 equals $98. And I'm going to do that in purple just because it's miscellaneous. So then let me go back over here and do 118.75 minus 98. I'm left with $20.75. So this is going to be my snowball. So I am going to have the tiniest snowball and literally what I said in my 2019 goals, I'll link it up here, is that 2019 is about discipline. So sometimes you have to put yourself away from spending and just literally anything, snowflake payments um, that you have, is just throw it at your debt. So $20 is essentially going to go to my Toys R Us debt. I'm at $262 with it. $20 down, I will have $242. So that is essentially what's going to do. And the only reason why I did it this way is because um, I am not sure of what's going to happen in my next budget. Like, I have no clue how much I'm going to get paid. So we're going to figure it out. And then yellow will be snowball just because this is what needs to be thrown at debt. So 
there you guys go. I redid my entire budget for you guys. Hopefully you guys liked it. Let me zoom in a bit so you guys can see it. And hopefully you guys understand how my method of thinking of breaking down my money worked. Alright, thank you guys so much. And next paycheck, you're going to see me how I'm going to finish off my month. But essentially I paid off my entire month off. The only thing I'm missing is my student loan, my gas bill, and rent and gas. Celine for my car. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and I have a good day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.